The Slicer software for the Creality Ender 3 has an option called Change Filament. So you can change filament at any point during the print, and you can change colors whenever you're formatting it in the software, and I'm using Ultimaker Kira, which is a pretty popular slicing software. So this just got to the point. This is level 84, where I told it to stop, and it did. And it just started to eject the filament a little bit. And now I'm just going to pull it out so I can switch it to the color white. We'll press the button again to start heating up the nozzle. Once it's heated up, we'll press the button and it will start to extrude the filament. I'm gonna wait for that color transition from white I'm going to tell it to extrude more because it's not quite a pure white. There's still some black in it, so let's get a little bit more out. And now we're getting pure white. And I can tell it to resume the print. Here in Ultimaker Kira, this is the part that you just saw me printing, and I'll show you how to use the filament change. First thing we need to do is click on Extensions, which is up here at the top, and go to Post Processing and then Modify G-Code. This is going to give us a drop down of all the different scripts you can add. We're going to click on filament change because that's the operation that we're going to be doing. And then you'll select your layer that you want it to apply the filament change to. So if we just close out of this temporarily and uh, I have this formatted, go ahead and slice it if you have it formatted how you want to. This is a part that doesn't need support even though those are highlighted in red. That's a curve that at least PLA can do no problem. So now once we have that slice, there'll be a little wrench and hammer down at the bottom. You can click on to bring this post-processing plugin back up. Now we can change it to what layer we want. So just by closing this, we can bring it right back up by that button. Going to preview, it'll give us a layer layout. So you can advance the layers back and forth. So we can figure out exactly what layer we want this to be on. So I'm gonna bring it up until I just start to see the layer starting to come up. And I want to be on, on the layer that it's starting to come up on, not the one before. So right where it's going to start bringing it up is this layer right here. So that's layer 85. And I was on layer 84 before. Now in the layer, we'll change this to 85. And then you can close the tab and then re-slice it. And then this is just going to be built into the G-code. Once your part is fully optimized, we'll click the blue button down at the bottom that says save to file and then put it on your SD card. So that's how you take an object, say something like this, and you want the text to be more pronounced or just to do, the, do different colors. It's pretty simple just to be able to add a filament change and get some pretty cool results. Interesting. It seems to be that there's another layer that it's printing. So somehow the wrong layer must have gotten selected. So like maybe it was layer 84 instead of 85. Because it's going to do a full white layer on top of this. This is one layer off, so instead of selecting layer 73 or 74, I did like 72. So one layer off. So it'll still look kind of cool, but it won't just be the text that says Ender that's going to be white. It's just going to be a layer of white, then the text. It'll still be monochrome, though. It still looks really cool, but of course it would be cooler if this wasn't one layer incorrect. So I'm actually probably going to end up reprinting this. Just because I want to get familiar with the software, I want to learn how to use it and get everything done correctly. So this is super cool that it's super easy to change the G-code so you can just do a filament change mid-print and everything works really well together. Print came out really nice. And this mounts right on here to the power supply.